Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generates Press and Generates Blocks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an author box in the sidebar using a dynamic block element with Generates Blocks. Let's get started. As in the previous two videos, make sure you have some social links added. You can either use an SEO plugin or a snippet like this one which came from the site. I will provide the link in the video description. Make sure to also add some author description. Now let's go to the elements page. Let's create a new block element. Give it a name. The editor width, we will switch to 300 pixels to mimic the sidebar width. Element type, we will use hook. The hook name will be before right sidebar content. As always, we will start with a container block and set both width to full. Let's leave the rest of the settings for later. Inside the container, we will add another container. So right now the structure looks like this. We can leave the layout settings for now and upload a background image. Let's go to spacing and set a minimum height for this container. And we can remove all the default padding. We will add a background color in order to use the overlay option. Now let's head back to background and tweak our background image. Lower the opacity and change the position a bit. Now let's add a second container. So this is the current structure. For this container, we will remove the top padding and reduce the rest to 30 pixels. Then we will add a container inside the second container. This one is only needed if you want to add some borders around the author image. So this is the current structure. We got four containers. Let's add the author image first and come back to the container settings. Image size will go with 100 pixels and make it rounded. Let's select the container again. Set it to contain and match the container width with our image width, which is 100 pixels. Now go to spacing and remove all the default padding. Add five pixels of border. Then set the border radius all to 50%. Now open up colors and we will choose a red border color to match the picture. It looks kind of weird right now as we're selecting the container, but as soon as we get out, you see that the border is added perfectly to the author image. 
let's select the container with the background image and add negative 50 of bottom margin. So it pulls the image up halfway through. Moving on, let's select this container and add a headline block in it. We will go with div, text align center, and make it the post author name. Take a quick look of the current structure. So inside the second container, we have a container with an image and a headline. Now go to typography and increase the font size a little. And add some margin. Let's take a step back and tweak the first container. We will choose a background color of white and turn on gradient. So next, I want to remove the padding all around so the image goes right to the edge of the container. Let's select the post author name headline block again and add a buttons block underneath it. We will start by choosing an icon and remove the text. Reduce the icon sizing Then head back up to spacing, change the padding all to 10 pixels, add some margin right so we can separate with a second button, and then 50% for all the border radius. Let's tweak our colors to match. and hover color, we'll use the default. Let's duplicate our buttons. Then change the icon. Now we can add in the dynamic link, open up dynamic options, link type, author meta, field name, Facebook. Next one, Pinterest. Instagram, then YouTube. Let's select the buttons wrapper and add some top and bottom margin and set it to align center. So you can see that it's not quite a line center. That's because we have right margin added to the last button. The last step here will be to add in the author description. We use a div, again, center align, 
text type will be author meta. Field name this time is description. Let's take a quick look for the mobile view. Looks pretty much the same. Then choose our display rule to post, all post, and publish. Refresh the page, and this is our result. So few issues here. First, we need to bring the author image on top of this image, and my Pinterest icon is missing. Also, we need some breathing room here to mimic the separating space we set in the customizer. Let's fix those issues. For the overlapping issue, let's select the second container and set the outer index to one, which should bring it to the top. Then Pinterest, it's likely a spelling mistake. Then lastly, select the main container and add some margin bottom. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.